Look at that. We've just geoed the wood. There's crystals in there. <laughs> On the table today, science. <laughs> Interesting. Have to With National Geographic STEM toys. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We have build your own volcano and break open two geodes. Should prove some explosive fun today, don't you think, squirrel? <laughs> so what do we have with these two kits on the back of the box? We have build your own volcano. As for breaking open two geodes, we're breaking open two geodes. Well, let's start off with the inside of the volcano kit. Behold, science is more interactive than I thought. Lots of things in this kit. We have our volcanic plaster. We have a package of paints. Do not throw away volcano molds. Some sort of volcano droppings. And uh, a stick. I guess our volcano might be sick. Instructions, oh good, and a whole booklet of them too. And it looks like eruption powder citric acid. Oh, squirrel stampede has just gone to the next level. And inside, all sorts of facts and pictures about volcanoes. Perhaps we should just read this first opening on what is a volcano, because sometimes I don't know myself. A volcano is a type of mountain formed by an opening in the Earth's surface that allows material from deep in the Earth to move out to the surface. To understand how and why this happens, you need to know about the structure of the Earth. And all this fantastic science. Inside our Volcano Science Kit Instruction Manual, we have many steps in creating a volcano. Paint it up and then explode it. Of course, this will take a little time and effort. I'm going to have to find some Squirrelific helpers. In a moment, we will go to the Squirrel Stampede Outside Laboratory to construct our volcano. Okay, welcome outdoors to the Squirrelific Laboratory. We have a table ready. We're in a zone where we shouldn't make too much of a mess. I have my Squirrelific helpers here, Anna and Benny. And what are we gonna do first? Well, oh. Geo! Geo! I think they're very excited about the geodes. Yeah! You like the geodes? I okay. want to break into it! <gasps> wow. Ah, okay. I already jumped! <laughs> All right, so would one of you like to build the mold? So we're taking the mold and we're snapping it together. Yeah, yep. I don't know how it's going. Uh, Squirrelzilla is also here to uh, assist us in the process. But we don't want to get Squirrelzilla too full of plaster, so you better just sit on the swing. I almost got it! All right, we've got a mold ready to go. So that's good. Then you take this little cap and you throw it on top because that's where all the cool volcano action will be. We'll flip it over like that. Now we will prepare our plaster compound. Measure five and a half ounces of cold water, which we did, into a disposable container. So this will go here. Benny, would you like to pour this in? Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Now gradually add your measured plaster. Uh, measure uh, one and a half cups of plaster. Oh, I forgot to do that. Okay, we got our measuring cup and we will now get uh, some plaster out. Can I open my part? Into this, please. So all Let's see what happens. Of, like, so the whole cup. Ooh. Yeah. Um, white. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a white powder. It's really fluffy. It's fluffy. Uh, Okay, so that's about a cup and a ten. Okay, just put a little bit in. There you go, a little more, a little more. There you go, a little more. And go give it a stir. It's very soupy. Whoa, someone just crashed over there. Wonder what's that? Removing okay, start. people? <laughs> start pouring more in. Please. And switch places. All right, get set, go. Okay. Benny, you go ahead and pour and a stir. I think we'll have to pour all of it in. Just chuck it all in. <laughs> <laughs> right? That was funny. I'm get some more ready. Remember what you did? Yeah. One time? I think that's about. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, 
All right, what do we got? Ooh, that's really soupy. I think it's actually starting to form a little bit. Keep going. Hurry, hurry, because we don't want it to set up. Keep moving it. Keep moving it. I think we're gonna need just a little more flapper. Okay, Benny, switch around quick. Not all of it. Okay, stop right there. Good. That's a good amount. Yeah, I need some help. It is getting a little hard because it's getting a little thicker. It looks like it looks like the stuff that we made when we were making slime. Yeah. Or it kind of looks like the cookies and cream. Yeah. Ice cream. I think we're just about ready to pour. Okay. So we're gonna do this. Here's our mold. Remember, it's all sealed. And so now we pour it. We can pour it. That thing's in like so. What this? Feels a little thick. We might have gone maybe on the thicker side, but I think in experience well, with paint, you want it to be a little thicker. What Science. Is this distance again? Oh, it just splatted me all over my face. It you did. I'm okay. Yeah, okay, good. It's all done, looks like. It's almost filled up. It's almost ready to go. It's like when you do fast food. Yep. Fast food. Alright. Oh. Yeah. This is why we're outside. It's a little messy. What mess have we created? We've got our mold. How long does it take to uh, dry, does it say? It says it is, you can do it for one and or two days waiting for it or one, one or, or two hours, yeah. two and a half hours. Yeah, so 30 to 45 minutes at this point because we're just going to get it to harden up a little bit. So we're going to wait 30 to 45 minutes and then we'll open it up and see what it is. Sound good? Mm -hmm. And while we're waiting, maybe we'll do some geodes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're about 30 minutes into our drying volcano and it's getting pretty hard. So while we wait though, we are going to do some geodes. We have two geodes to break open. This will be crazy. Number one rule is safety. So we've got our safety goggles and gloves on. So let's get those on. Okay, we have got our gloves on, safety gear on. We have two geodes. Anna has chosen the roundish pink one. Benny has chosen the orangish brown one. Anna will go first. Here is your hammer. There's several ways to open a geode. We're just going to go with the smashy, smashy way. Uh, a good, better way is using a chisel and going around it, and hopefully you could break it in half. Sometimes it might just explode into pieces. We will find out. We've never really done this before. Yep. She's going for it. Put my goggles back. Yeah. I might need to get a chisel out. Hit it a few more times, see what happens. There is kind of like a natural crack going on in this one. If we had a chisel, I will get one in just a second. All right, good news. We found our chisels. We found a utility butt chisel set. <laughs> it says, but utility <laughs> butt chisel set. <laughs> Don't you love woodworking? <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, let's open this. My butt see. <laughs> okay, we have got a chisel out, and I will be daring enough to hold it. Your hammer and hit this part right here, and not in my hands. There you go. Perfect. Hey, that's one pretty tight, Let's tight see. rock. I might have to give it a, my own hit. Wow, these are tight. Yeah. Might have to try. I think we're gonna try moving on over to the cement over here. <laughs> Look at that. We've just geoed the wood. There's crystals in there. Well, they're beautiful. That's the wrong thing to split. I think we're just gonna make a big mark on our concrete now. Whoa! 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 Let's find all the pieces. I see some shiny like white crystals. Yeah, I see one right there. Look at that. Too bad it broke into a million pieces. All right, we're trying our second one. These have been pretty tough to open. Yes. 
while we open up our mold for our volcano and place it up on a baking tray, throwing it into an oven at about 200 degrees for about two, three hours. We'll take a short break and look at some of the geodes back on the table. So here are some of the best pieces we found. Obviously this is the first crushed geode that went everywhere and there's still some pretty cool pieces in there. And the second one, I think we did pretty good. We got a solid cut in half, although it's pretty full of crystals. This one here looks pretty good. You can really see inside. There's so much shininess to them. And then the one that exploded has a little more uh, range in color. The outside being pink, then a darker gray, and then a really sparkly inside. I wish we had taken a little more time with it, but being a first geode experience, I think we learned a lot. This one's cool too. This is the one that has just a little bit of something sticking out from it, like a dog's tooth. Is that a geological term? The dog's tooth? This one represents Mount Everest in miniature form. That's pretty nice. So I think we found some pretty good pieces of geode. I'm gonna have to go to that local geode farm and check it out one of these days. Okay, we have retrieved our volcano from the oven and then we put it in the refrigerator for like an hour just so that it was cooler. It looks like it's ready to go to be painted. We've got a bunch of paints. I think because we don't have brown paint, I'm just gonna give it a quick brown spray paint coating and then we'll add some more colors to it. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Woohoo! Okay, we've sprayed it brown and now we're gonna go to town painting our volcano. Let's see what you did. Yeah. Whoa, that is the most fiercest volcano I have ever seen. Tumble. Can't wait to see this thing erupt. So to erupt this thing, we have got a bunch of chemicals, the citric acid and eruption powder we have to mix up. So hang on, let's mix this up and we will begin the eruption. And Anna will now fill in some of the powder into the volcano, about a tablespoon and then we can finally can't. erupt this. I can't get it all. That's perfect. Into the volcano. There you go. Yeah. Maybe just a tiny bit more. It's Obviously, we can't fill the whole thing. But then we're yeah. gonna use the water. Then we're gonna use the water. We've got about, it's supposed to be about a cup of water. I've just got a nice big, big I thing of water. All right, ready to go, Benjamin. Pour some in. For a little bit. Whoa, it's Whoa. red. I'm just testing Lava. it. I did that for only testing. And then I'm gonna play Whoa, a little more. Oh. Whoa, it's like, I'm dying. It's like raspberry red. Get her oh, helicopter drone over the top of the volcano. What the? It's so cool. Look, look. It's a strawberry drone confusion. Yeah. How about you let Anna put in a little more water now? Yeah. That's a lot. What the? Look, it just keeps going. I'm gonna try. To, I don't want to touch the lava. Obviously, that lava just might stain or burn. I think that was well worth it, though. It's cold water, so it should be cold. Yeah, I think That's it was well worth cold. it. That was so cool. That's well, there we go, the great epic National Geographic volcano. What did you guys think? Good, cool. Yeah, I think that was uh, pretty oh, impressive. Are you serious? <laughs> I just thought I thought the process of making the volcano, painting it, and then erupting it was so cool because it gave us like a whole afternoon of something to do. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a lot faster. I thought we were just going to open it up and the volcano was going to be ready, but I sure enough, we ended great. up having to melt it and combust it and squeeze it together. So that was pretty cool. I really enjoyed that. So that is the volcano 
and the geode smashing was pretty fun too. So yeah, awesome. Yeah. yeah. National Geographic STEM kits for everyone, a perfect summertime activity. The two kits featured today can be found over on Amazon. They run only $10 each. Both kits loaded with fun things to do and interesting learning guides. The process of building the volcano was quite fun and of course anger management with breaking open geodes. Just make sure to have those safety gloves and safety goggles on when Mount Plasteritus erupts. That's what I have to say about that. The Squid Volcano is a rare geological amazement. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.